Do you prefer building things than sitting in a classroom? Do you see yourself as a problem solver? Well, maybe mechatronic engineering might be a great degree for you. And maybe getting that degree while working might be the best way for you to learn. In this work-based degree, you will spend three days a week in the workplace and have two days for study. It will be more affordable because you will have an income and you may be able to live at home. We believe that you will perform better in your studies and in the workplace. We believe that this method of study will make you a better engineer. So if you're interested, take a few minutes to listen to this talk that we have been giving in schools around the country. Now everyone, I'm going off script now. This isn't one of those canned videos that you see marketing courses on the internet. This is actually a bit more like how we teach online in IT Sligo. So before talking a bit more about mechatronics, I'd just like to give you a little bit about online learning from IT Sligo. We've been doing online distance learning for adults in the workplace since 2002, longer than any other public institution in Ireland. And we're by far the biggest now, having reached 4,700 students in September 2020. We've won awards for this and we're well known for it. So what is this online learning like? Well, in actual fact, it's fairly straightforward and that's the way people like it. We give online classes a bit just like me now working with PowerPoint with you, but we do it live as well. So there's a chat area that that people can type questions for the lecture or they can turn on their microphone and ask questions. Of course, they're recorded as well, so that if there was something difficult into in it, you can go back on it later. Or if you missed a class because you have something else, you can go back on it later. We do more complicated stuff as well, particularly in engineering, where we give remote access to labs. Uh, for instance, the picture in the top left there is of a rig that can be controlled from the PC below the rig. Now you can log in from anywhere in the world to that PC. You can see the rig on the camera and then you open up a control programming system and write your program and control the rig. And you can do that 24 hours a day. That's better than our students in college have. Below, a lot of you may have done, say, something like SOLIDWORKS in college and been in a lab where there's a lecture uh, giving a class to a lab of students and none of them are physically in the class, but they're all controlling different computers and he can go around and help them. We won a few prizes for that as well. So what is mechatronics? Well, I'm going to show you a video in the moment that I think might illustrate it a bit better. A few videos that I found on YouTube, but really it's a combination of mechanical systems and electrical or electronic systems and computer systems and information systems. So it's an all rounded sort of engineering Okay, for building small devices, maybe like that on the image, and huge machines uh, in production and manufacturing. Okay, let's see if we can run this video. And uh, this student now is somebody who sees themselves as the lone inventor, but in actual fact, you would tend to work in teams in uh, college. So there's a link to the video there, by the way. And if you want to, you can pause now and write down that link. I'm going to want to watch about two minutes of this video. Um, uh, so if you want to watch the whole video, write that link down now. Have you ever wanted to build some really cool invention, but not want to have to deal with other people in order to do so? Well, if you follow the mechatronics and engineering study path, you may very well end up being able to do just that. Or at the very least, learn why it is that you can't. Hello Virtual Dreamers, Gregory here. Before we kick this video into high gear, I want to let you guys know in advance that my views here will probably be a bit biased, seeing as I'm graduating, literally the day this video goes live, with an Associate of Applied Sciences degree, majoring in Engineering Technology, Electromechanical Engineering. I'm basically the Kohai to my Mechatronics Engineering Senpai. Anyway, in this video we're going to be tackling the subject of what Mechatronics is, what its perks are, and why I even bother to make this video and pick the subject as my major. That clear? Great. Then let's get started. Mechatronics Engineering, like any other type of engineering, is a career path that revolves around developing technology to solve problems. I touched on this in my careers for building VR video from March, but this particular engineering subset is kind of a do-it-all path. 
Rather than focusing specifically on electronics, mechanical systems, or computers, this pack combines all of them, giving you the ability to use each of the tool sets to create the solutions to your problems. Being knowledgeable in so many things really does make you into a bit of a one-man army when it comes to creating solutions to problems. You're everything in one, and depending on the scope of the project and the resources available to you, the things that can be built are pretty incredible. I mean, come on. Michael Reeves didn't even go to school for this stuff, and he still wound up building the glorious wonders that are the Screaming Roomba and an Elite Surgery Robot. It's these benefits of the Jack of All Trades class that made me veer towards this path in the first place. I made a video covering it, but my main goal for the past almost 8 years now has been to build a VR rig that would allow me to game in the same way that the Nerve Gear let players do in Sword Art Online. The wish was nice and all, but all I was back then was a wannabe artist that didn't even know the first thing about any- Okay, well that was an interesting video, and if you want to see the whole of it, as I say, take to, pause now and take down that link, so... Engineering. Let's move on here. Literally. I okay, now I want to talk about employability, uh, because in actual fact, uh, actually these are logos of companies that we've been dealing with for the past 18 years. A lot of the online education we do is in manufacturing, uh, which use a lot of automation and in biomedical and in pharmaceutical. So an awful lot of these people are interested in uh, employing mechatronic engineers. In fact, in general, they can't get enough of them. And a lot of them are going to take on students on this program as well. Now, I'm going to show you, this video explains a little bit about what Mechatronics is as well, but also talks about the employability. I'm going to, only going to play about a minute of this video. Hopefully it's not too choppy as I um, record here. But again, you can take down that link. You can pause and take down that link if you want to watch the whole video. To be honest with you, if you do a Google for what, or go to YouTube and go, what is Mechatronics? Or what is mechatronic engineering? You'll find loads of these videos. So let's just have a listen to a minute of it. Anything mechanical related, we get to play with it. Making things run, learning how they run, learning how to make them run. Every new project is a new challenge. So this is perfect job for me. I like the fact that you can actually get your hands dirty and work on stuff. I would like to define mechatronics as a broad combination of electrical engineering, mechanical engineering controls, and software programming. Electrical, mechanical, hydraulics, and pneumatics. Includes motors, sensors, electronics, computers. The mechatronics program began because uh, there is such a demand for these high-skilled jobs. Companies are begging to the schools, we need people coming out of this program. We're going to be picked up like as fast as we come out. Our program is funded by the United States Department of Labor, and their goal, as ours, is to get people back to work. There are literally hundreds of thousands of jobs available for those in mechatronics. So as you say, he's claiming, and that's a US one, that there are hundreds of thousands of jobs. And indeed, uh, Ireland has a lot of multinationals in manufacturing here. There's plenty of jobs in Ireland in mechatronics, in, in manufacturing as well. OK, so a few questions for you. Why are you interested in college? Is it to study stuff you like? I know you've all enjoyed your time in the classroom and you probably want to do more. Okay, or is it to have fun for a few years? Or is it to get an interesting job? And I don't just say a good job, but an interesting job as well. Because for people who like making stuff, building stuff, doing projects, mechatronics is a really interesting job, but it's also a good job as well. Do you think employees prefer you to have a degree? Well, I must say that this program is to a large extent inspired by the apprenticeship system, which I think is a brilliant system. The combination of practical skills and classroom learning and work-based learning makes, makes apprentices very employable. Now, an engineering degree is a bit broader than an engineering apprenticeship, and also a lot of companies do prefer people to have a degree, a degree, unfortunately. So you may find this. Uh, in fact, we find that a lot of uh, ele electrical apprenticeships and other apprenticeships come and do our mechatronics degrees later on as they want to move up the company. Do you think employers prefer you to have work experienced? Unfortunately, this is a problem, I suppose, with 
courses in college where you spend the full three years in college, you may know quite a bit when you're leaving, but you don't have that work experience that employers really want. This, in a way, is like adding work experience to a course, but taking it to the ultimate. You spend the full three years in the workplace. Is going to college too expensive? Well, we know it is, and we hope that this will make it a bit less of a burden for people because they'll be able to both earn money and possibly live at home as well. Some of you might be a little bit worried about online learning, and I talked a little bit before about it, but I just wanted to ask, have you ever watched online videos to help you in your study? More and more students, even in secondary school, are doing this. If they find a topic difficult in the classroom, they can go look for videos. This video is one from the Khan Academy that does these really good mathematics videos. And we will be using technology like this to um, help you in this course as well. OK, I just want to go back over the, the degree. As I say, it's three days uh, in the workplace, two days studying. You'll get an income from it. You'll be able to live at home, so it'll be cheaper. And we believe this will make you a better engineer. OK, this is not the first time that we've taught in this mode. We were the first of the new apprenticeship systems to come out of the blocks a few years ago with an honours degree in insurance practice which uses the same model of study. So if you're interested, where do you go from here? Well, you will have noticed that there's a contact form down in the bottom left there uh, that you should uh, uh, use if you're interested. And that's been appearing on all the slides uh, because it is important to get in touch with us. Because even though this is on the CAO, you must be offered a contract by an employer. Now, you may have an employer that you know that uh, may be willing to offer you a job, but we have to check if they're suitable. But you may not know an employer, and maybe we can help you find one. OK, you start in the workplace immediately in September, OK, working 24 hours a week. OK, you will get support when you're in the workplace. You'll have a mentor. And they will make sure that you have what you need to do your project work and those types of things. Uh, you will also have a supervisor from IT Sligo who will ensure that you're getting your stuff done at work and ensure that you're keeping up with your studies. Now, because it's a, it's a work-based degree, not all the credit you get just is for your studies. You will get credit for stuff you, you learn, for what you learn in the workplace. We'll be specifying some of those, certain tasks that we want you to do, and your employer will be specifying tasks that they want you to do. You can get credit for all of those. You just have to submit information as you go along. There'll be no examinations of that. It's just continuous assessment. So you will be simultaneously studying online what we would call normal online classes and subjects from IT Sligo. You will be submitting assignments as you go along, and you may be taking final examinations in those subjects. You may have to come to Sligo for so many days a year. Probably for labs, so we're, we're trying with remote labs to reduce the number of days you have to come to Sligo for labs, but mostly actually for examinations. Okay, and by the way, if you live a good distance away from Sligo, we also have exam centres in Dublin and Cork, so you may not have to come up that much. Now, hopefully you will get to meet your classmates in your region if you're a long way from Sligo. And as I say, we have online students all over the country, by the way, but we'll try and break you into groups so that you can interact with your classmates online as well. It's a good thing to get to know your classmates. OK, what about the financial aspect of this? Well, you will be offered a traineeship contract from your employer. It will be to the legal minimum wage and you'll be paid for 24 hours a week during term time, hopefully 40 hours during the summer time. It's up to the employer. They may want to pay you more. Uh, they may want to give you more hours during the summer time. Uh, and they may want to pay your fees because they, you know, they maybe want to get very good candidates and may offer to pay your fees. So that's where it is financially. So that's all I have to say to you now. As I say, if you think this is for you, please get in touch. OK, there's more information on that link there, bit.ly, IT Sligo WEL. But if you want to contact us, uh, fill in the form at bit.ly dot mechwbl form at the bottom there and we'll get in touch with you 
and we'll start helping you. If you want to go ahead with this, we'll start helping you to find an employer. Thank you very much for your time.